I decided to become a stylist because I was thinking I was already pregnant with my first child and I've always worked. I, I don't just live inside the house and expecting that somebody support me. So when I finished studies in Mexico for cosmetology, I put a little salon next to my house and I was able to, be, to take my girls to school when they were little, come back, operate the salon, had my clients pick them up and run my household. So here in America, I had that same dream to have my own salon. Thank God. And to LEDCs that they helped me do this. Latino Economic Development Center, I believe, is the strongest resource in support of Latino immigrants starting businesses because our staff is multicultural, but most of us are bilingual and consider ourselves bicultural. We have an affinity for working with immigrant communities. We have an understanding of the barriers that they experience. We have people that we've worked with that started as dishwashers and came to us with the dream. Some might have said, it's not possible for you to achieve small business startup success from being a dishwasher. But we have those examples. Your name and your company up there, that's that can be your company and your address or whatever. It's important to understand that not all immigrants are just a labor force working in ag, working in restaurants, working in janitorial. Many of them have education in their home country, they have skills, they're professionals. LEDC is working to remove the barriers from these uh, folks, for these folks that they encounter so they can practice their career here in this country. I've been able to accomplish that my children have finished high school. I have my own business style, uh, beauty salon. I have my own housing. I own my house. I'm studying English. And the best thing is, is that I have a building that I own where my business operates and I have rental income from an adjoining restaurant pad. LEDC, me ayudó. LEDC helped me. Yo yo pienso que como mis padres. I think <laughs> like my parents would have helped me. Especialmente Yolanda Catera.